Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this hat here. I think it turned out really nice. I really like it. I made it for myself. Um, I'm going to say that this is probably an intermediate pattern because it does have post stitches in it. And you got to kind of turn your work um, and work uh, on the wrong side and stuff to get the, this effect of these ridges and stuff. But I mean, even if you're a beginner, you feel I mean, hopefully I can teach well enough that, that you can get it. But otherwise, I would consider it probably more of an intermediate pattern. Um, this will fit probably 21, 21 and a half inch head. If you want to make it bigger, I would just use the next size hook up. And if you want to make it child size, I would leave off one row of increases whenever you get to that spot. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using a Lion Brand Retweed. It's Recycled Tweed yarn. It is a medium weight number four, and it is a wool polyester acrylic blend. You do not have to use this yarn. Any medium four weight yarn will work. Now, there's 202 yards per ball. That's why I got less. So I'm going to say you're going to need about 175 yards of yarn, approximately, to finish this hat. And the color I am using is called Grapefruit. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Alright, we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. Now, if you prefer to use the magic circle, that is fine. You can use that too. I'm not that good at it, so I don't, I don't ever use it. But we're going to go ahead and start off with a chain of three. There's one, two, three three now i'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring and now i'm going to be working into this ring right here that we just formed so i'm going to start by chaining one now that chain one does not count as a stitch so what i'm going to do is yarn over and go through the ring and i'm going to work a double crochet And I want to have a total of 12 double crochets. So that would be number one, again, through the center of the ring. There's two. Three. Four. five you want to continue until you get a total of 12. all right i've made it here to the end of round one and i have a total of 12 double crochets now you can pull your tail and that'll usually close up that circle your center circle if not you can sew it together at the end so you got 12 double crochets here now we're going to go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into our first double crochet not that chain one we did but the first double crochet there we go that ends round one round one Round two, we are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. Now we're going to work right back here into this very spot here that we slip stitched into, and we're going to put two double crochets into that spot. So there's one, and there's two. Now I'm going to work around, and I'm going to put two double crochets in every single stitch all the way around two doubles into the next two doubles into the next and i'm going to repeat this pattern until i get back to my starting point two doubles into the next so two doubles in every stitch all the way around until i get Back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round two, and now you should have a total of 24 stitches. And we're going to go ahead and end it by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Just like that. Now, round three, we're going to start by chaining one. It does not count as a stitch. We're going to go right back into that same spot there that we just slip stitched into. We're going to put one double crochet. And now in the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. 
So that's kind of the repeat now for round three. We're gonna put one double crochet into the next stitch. And then in the next stitch, we will put two double crochets. one double crochet into the next stitch and then the next stitch we'll put two double crochets into same stitch so round three is one double two doubles one double two doubles one double two doubles all the way around until you get back to your starting point alrighty I have made it to the end of round three and you should have ended with two double crochets there in your last stitch and you should have a total of 36 stitches now. Now we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Done. Now we're gonna start round four by chaining one, which does not count as a stitch. So what we wanna do now is put two double crochets in a row. So we're gonna put one double crochet into this very first stitch. one double crochet into the next stitch and then the next stitch will put two double crochets into the same stitch and that is a repeat now for round four one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so there's one and then one in the next and then two double crochets into the next stitch Again, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one, one in the next, and then two doubles into the next. And that's a repeat, we're gonna repeat all the way around for round four, one double, one double, two doubles. One double, one double, two doubles. All the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round four. And your last stitch should have had two double crochets in it. And you should have a total of 48 stitches now. Now we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And we are going to start round five. We are going to chain one. Now this time we want to work three double crochets in a row. So we'll start always by putting our first one right there where we slip stitched. One in the next. one in the next so that's three in a row and then the next stitch we'll put two double crochets into the same stitch and that's the repeat for round five one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so one two three and then two double crochets into the next One double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, three, and two double crochets into the next. And I'm gonna repeat that pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've come to the end of round five. Your last stitch again should have had two double crochets in it. And you should have a total of 60 stitches now. Now we're not going to be increasing anymore. So what we're going to do is end round five by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now we're going to start the repeat rounds. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. So now I'm going to be working on the, um, up, the underneath side of my hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a half double crochet right here into this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into. A half double crochet. Like that. And then I'm going to put a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then I'm going to half double into the next. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next. And this is a pattern I'm going to repeat all the way around. Half double. 
and then slip into the next. Half double into the next, and then slip stitch into the next. Half double into the next, and slip into the next. All the way around until you get back to your starting point. All right, I have made it to the end of round six. Your last stitch should have been a slip stitch. You should have 60 stitches total. Total. We're still working on the wrong side of our work. And we're going to go in and end by slip stitching into our first half double crochet. Now round seven, we're going to start off by doing a loose chain one. And that is going to count as a slip stitch. So we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to work a half double crochet. And then the next stitch will be a slip stitch. And the next stitch, a half double crochet. And then a slip stitch. And a half double crochet. So we're doing for round seven what we did on round six, except for kind of opposite. Where there was a half double on the previous round, we're putting a slip stitch. And where there was a slip stitch on the previous round, we'll be putting a half double. So slip stitch, half double. Slip stitch, half double. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to our starting point. And the reason why we're working it on the wrong side, if you take a minute, if you flip it over to look on the right side, you'll see that it makes a little bit of a decoration there, as opposed to when you work on the wrong side, it just looks kind of plain. So whenever we turn it back around to the right side, it'll have those, a little bit of texture there. So that's why we're working it backwards. So I'm gonna continue working my half double crochet slip stitch repeat all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've made it back to the end of round seven and this time I should have ended in a half double crochet. Now you wanna closely slip stitch into that first chain one that we said we counted as a slip stitch. We're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into that. 60 stitches still, we'll always have 60 stitches. Now we're gonna chain one and now we're gonna start with a half double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next. And then half double into the next. And slip stitch into the next. Half double into the next and slip stitch into the next. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to the beginning. And you flip it back over, you can see the bit of the de decoration that is putting on our hat on the front. So I'm going to keep going around with my half double crochet slip stitch until I get back around to the end of row eight. Okay, I've come to the end of round eight. I should have ended in the slip stitch this time. And now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch in my row by slip stitching into my first half double crochet. 60 stitches still. Always 60 stitches. And now I'm going to chain one and turn my work back around to the front. Now I'm going to work a couple rows of double crochet. So I am going to, I got my chain one. So I'm going to go right back into the same stitch here that we slip stitched into. And double crochet. And I want to put one double crochet into every stitch. But when you get here to where these little ridges are, 
don't go underneath that ridge that that is that's not where the stitch is the stitch is right back here like this and then you got to make sure you go into the slip stitch it's going to be tight but double crochet into the slip stitch and then into the half double but remember it's not right here the stitch is actually behind that ridge like that and then you slip stitch in, or double crochet into that half double or into the slip stitch and into the half double into the slip stitch and then into the half double and we're just going to repeat this all the way around one double crochet in every slip stitch and in every half double crochet but make sure you are going into the right spot on the half double we don't go underneath this ridge we go the top of the stitch is right back here so i'm going to repeat this pattern one double crochet in every slip stitch and and in half every half double or one double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get back to our starting point all right i've made it to the end of round nine and i should have 60 stitches so i'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet now round 10 i'm just going to repeat what i did on round nine i'm going to chain one double crochet back into the first stitch and i'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch all the way around just like this so round 10 is one double in every stitch until you get back to your starting point all right i have made it to the end of round 10 60 stitches going to end by slip stitching into your first double crochet now that is the repeat now rounds six seven eight nine and ten so remember when we repeat, repeat rounds six seven and eight we have to do it on the wrong side so for round 11 we will be we will be repeating what we did on round six so that's where we chain one and we turn our work so now we're working on the wrong side and we start off by half doubling into the first stitch and slip stitch into the next half double and then slip stitch so i am going to continue repeating rounds six seven eight nine and ten until i get to my desired length remember these three rounds we are work we work them on the wrong side and then we turn our worker back around to do the other two round, rows of repeats All right, I have done a total of 15 rounds. So I repeated this section one time and here I am round, uh, round 15 is my second, the end of the repeat. So I got two rows of double crochet there. So from round one all the way down is 15 rounds. Now what I'm gonna do is round 16 I am going to chain one and I'm going to do another round of double crochet so one double crochet in every stitch for round 16 I still had 60 stitches at the end of round 15 so this is round 16 and I'm just putting one double in every stitch all the way around until I get back to my starting point
Alrighty, I made it to the end of round 16. I still have 60 stitches, and I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. Round 17, I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to put a double crochet right back into the same stitch. Now, now what I'm going to do is a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So I'm going to go around the post of it like that, and double crochet. And then I'm going to do a back post double crochet around the next. So I go around the post, but I go from the back like this to where the post is on the back of my hook. And I do my double. Then I'm going to do a front post double crochet. And then I'm going to do a back post double crochet. And I'm going to do a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. So I'm going to do the front post double crochet, back post double crochet repeat all the way around until I get back to my starting point. And this is just putting some ridges on it just to kind of give it a little bit of a brim. So I'm going to continue front post double crochet, back post double crochet. Front post and back post all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round 17. Your last stitch should have been a front post double crochet. I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. Now I am going to do one last round of single crochet because I like my hat, I'm, this is my, I made it for myself. I like them to be set a little lower um, on my face. Now if you try it on and you, it feels okay to you, you can leave it the way that it is. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and I'm just going to go around and I'm going to put one single crochet in that first stitch. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. This will clean up the edges nicely. But remember, if you try it on and you feel like it's already low enough for you, you can leave it as is. Adding this one row of single crochet won't make the set much lower, but just a little bit. But it will clean up the edge nicely. So I'm going to work around. This is around, around 18, our last round. One single crochet in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. Just like that. Alright, I'm coming to end of round 18. I should have 60 stitches still. Going to end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. And now we can tie off. If I can find some scissors, I'll just break the yarn. There we go. All right, after you hide that tail, that is it. That is all there is to it. I like it. And my new hat to wear. I think it turned out pretty cool looking. So, I like that yarn too. That's pretty nice yarn. I'm going to have to get some more of it. So, if uh, you make this hat I'd, or anything else, any of my other stuff, uh, any of my other tutorials, remember I have hundreds of them, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can always post a picture of what you make for my tutorials on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. And I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram because I post different stuff on there too. And don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. And if you look over there to the right hand side, I'm going to put a playlist of all my hats. I got a bunch of hats. Maybe you can just take a quick look at that and you might find some more you want to make. So until next time. Have a good day.